Zobris, Ben. Congratulations. It's often said, every team wants Ben Zobris on, at the trade deadline. How glad are you it was Casey that traded for you? Uh, you know, I, I'm real thankful. Um, you know, it's been a real fun ride the last couple months with these guys. Um, they're a great team, and I, I just wanted to contribute. And, uh, you know, we're still on the path that we wanted to be on. So uh, that's the thing. We, we're, we're still playing. And it's been a huge last few team wins here, and uh, we got to keep it going. You're part for a long time of a club with an outstanding culture there in Tampa Bay. What is unique about this team? You guys come back. You have such great chemistry. Why is that? You know, I, I think with all great teams, uh, there's just a belief there that you're going to get the job done. And when, when uh, you know, when things were tough the other day, you know, the team just kept battling and kept going. And, um, you know, that's what this team has. They're, they're just uh, a never, never quit attitude. And, uh, you know, you just always believe that they're going to get it done. Last question for you. Johnny Cueto today, a performance for the ages. What message did he send to this whole team of this whole city and the major leagues tonight? Well, he is as advertised. You know, he proved that tonight, uh, the biggest game of the season, and, and he uh, came through uh, for us in a huge way. So, you know, you can't say enough about the way he pitched tonight, uh, the kind of pitcher he is, and obviously he showed up when we really needed him. Ben, congratulations. Go enjoy with your teammates. All right, thanks, John. Back to you guys. Uh, he did show up when they needed him, and that's an understatement of the year. We've been waiting to see Johnny Cueto the entire time since he got to Kansas City. Quite frankly, CJ, we hadn't seen it. Nope. Then he goes out and retires 19 batters in a row. First AL pitcher to do that in the postseason since Don Larson. Yeah, it was an impressive outing, right? And we saw during the regular season, he went to that five-game stretch where he was terrible. And the adjustment he talked about was keeping the ball down. And he was able to do that today right from the beginning. Look at Johnny Cueto hitting spots when he wants to. Down and away, Salvador Perez giving him that really nice low target that he asked for in September when they were having an issue. And then when he wants to elevate, it's okay. Get above the zone, get off the plate, generate those swings and misses. This is what was not there for them during the regular season. This is why a lot of us are wondering, was this trade a mistake? They gave up three left-handed prospects to the Cincinnati Reds for Johnny Cueto. This was the big one. He got this one done. They're going to ask for more, though. It's not just this one. Now help us get through the ALCS as well. The idea here, they're back to the World Series. Johnny Cueto's got to step up again. That's live shots of Kansas City. Cueto uh, saying hello to everybody, friends and family members, we presume. And you see the fans are still there at KC. But E.K. Cueto, look, we've been waiting for it. And, and we, we find this for the time to see this year. Well, again, that was the expectation when he came over from the Cincinnati Reds. And look, it doesn't matter what he's done up to this point. The Kansas City Royals excited about that trade now. He came out delivered. That's why he was brought over, so the Royals could go deep into the postseason and win a World Series. Like I said, doesn't matter what he's done up until this point. I think more than anything, too, He's got his swagger back. He's got his confidence. And again, you could talk about location. You know, as a baseball player, if you're feeling good, that's 90% of the battle. He was tremendous. Tonight, I just saw him being comfortable. The stuff. The stuff looks like Johnny Cueto's stuff. Uh, his first start there, I, I, I noticed he had great stuff. The rest of them were so so. But tonight he showed up. And uh, location after location. Uh, he's getting South Perez down now, getting the ball down. This guy is a top-notch starter. I hope he can continue this, because they're going to need this against the group this. How about being able to celebrate Tariq Hebb real quick with the fans, right? They love this. This has been an organization that went through a couple of decades of mediocrity. Not a lot of wins, right? During our era, we liked rolling into Kansas City. That was a team that you felt like you could handle pretty well. Well, those days are long gone, but this fan base is unbelievably loyal. And for these guys to be able to come out a second year in a row and celebrate these little steps as they try to get to that first title, right? That's the next big thing for them, but it's such a great moment to be able to see those fans sticking around, knowing about all those lean years that they had, and now it's just waiting for that one last payoff for them, and that's getting that ring. You know, I think what's neat is you look at the celebration, and even after the game, it was almost like after Davis got the last out. It's kind of like that awkward, awkward manhole type of thing. And, you know, he himself was like, hey, cool, but we got more to do. We're back where we want to be. Did you feel that, Frank, watching this? A little bit. But, you know, Sal Perez, no. We got all the way last, last year. We almost won it, but we didn't. This is just another step. The LDS is the first step. The LCS is even bigger. They got to show up again. You can't get too hot for this victory. You got to just really get this team together because they got a tough task with the Toronto Blue Bulls. This is a great team right now. As you see the Royals players out there, I trust that so many fans still hang around. This is a long time after the game ended out in Kansas City. And uh, 
Yeah, you look at this Royals team, and I think, Frank, I go back to when they had that run. You were talking pregame that day, two days ago, how the Royals are swinging big. It's not what they do. They're a contact team, get on base, use their speed. And you finally saw it in that inning. Uh, you know, in, in, and now today, the same type of thing, manufacturing runs, Kane scoring from first on a single in this play. You haven't really seen that the first few games. The Royals starting to feel like last year. My question for you, are they better than last year, do you think? Is this team even better than their chance to win the World Series? I think they're better. And they stay within themselves. If they sit there and try to play the long ball, especially with the Toronto Blue Jays, they're going to lose. Yeah. They got to scratch runs. They got to run guys up. They got to get them over. They got to throw the small ball. They got to do what they did use their legs, catch everything. They got to play the way the Kansas City has been successful the last two years if they're going to beat the Toronto Blue Jays. If not, Toronto will bang them with the home run and they make this a short series. I think what's unique about the Royals, they don't strike out. And to Frank's point, you know, just putting the ball in play, manufacturing, making things happen. They struck out the fewest times in all of the big leagues, 973 times. In contrast, the Chicago Cubs, they struck out 545 more times. A little different. That's a swing and miss. And we saw in this ball game, initially, you know, Lorenzo Cain, he gets a cheap hit, then Cosmer hits the ball. They, they just put the ball in play and make things happen. They didn't hit the ball extremely hard. That ball, Rios hit down the line. They put the ball in play, good things happen, they score runs. You ask him the question about are they better than a year ago, right? Trying to figure that part out. For me, that answer is yes, because thinking about Morales, that's yes. an upgrade over Billy Butler. Thinking about Rios, maybe an upgrade over Aoki, if you believe yes. that. And now Ben Zobra's in there. They're better if Johnny Cueto pitches something close to this. You can't ask him for this outing every time. This is a pretty big one. But something close to what he did tonight, to pair him with Ventura, the bullpen is just as good as it was a year ago, even though Greg Holland is not there. They're a better team for me on paper as long as they get something close to what they got out of Johnny Cueto tonight, and that will give them that opportunity maybe to see it again. Well, the other thing is Ned Yost said in his first 20 playoff games is 14-6. and six. It's fourth best all time. You know, Ned Yost, the guy who was about to get tossed out the door in Kansas City last year. Everyone couldn't, couldn't stand, couldn't believe it. He didn't show any emotion. Uh, he's got him in the ALCS again. Pretty, pretty darn impressive. Well, it, it is, and I, I remember sitting here talking about the wild card game when they're playing against the Oakland A's last year and he brings in Ventura as a relief pitcher and it everybody's just going what are you doing here looks like they have just done threw away the game Ned Yost was going to be fired before that game even ended that's how bad it was they come back they have the great postseason run and all of a sudden as you mentioned one of the most successful managers in the postseason for his first 20 games. Yeah, it's impressive. Let's go back out to Kansas City. J.P. Morosi has another interview, this time with the Kansas City third baseman. Thanks, guys. Mike Moustakis. When you look at the way this series played out, how much of that game four rally really typify the way you guys play baseball? Well, it's huge. You know, uh, we were able to battle back, uh, you know, down a couple runs and uh, find a way to win that game. And, uh, you know, to be able to come back here and have, uh, have our home fans uh, with our backs, you know, it was awesome. You know, we had a... Uh, we had a great fan base out there tonight. It was electric, and we, uh, you know, we just kept battling till the end and found a way, uh, found a way to win. You've lived this whole journey, Moose, of 